CPT-JJCPB Introduction, page 16, part 4. Uh, selection of procedure categor continued category 3 criteria following additional criteria. We are reviewing the criteria to accept new codes or, or, or category 3 codes, right? Right. Which are the, the temporary codes that are needed that are not in the main CPT catalog. Okay, the actual or potential clinic efficacy of the specific procedure or service is supported by peer-reviewed literature, which is available in English for examination by the CPT editorial panel. So if you are sending the application to insert a new CPT code, there has to be literature peer review, peer review literature, and that has to be in English so that the CPT uh, panel can review it, right? Right. Now, uh, the next one. There is a, at least one institution review board approved protocol of a study of the procedure or service being performed. You're right. There, there is a, a one institutional review board approved protocol of a study, right? A protocol means uh, the rules of how the procedure is done, right? Now B, a description of a current and ongoing United States trial outlining the efficacy of the procedure or service, okay? This is also part of the literature describing the procedure and the efficacy, how efficient it is, right? And the C? Other evidence of involving clinical utilization. Of evolving clinical utilization. It means how it develops, right? So these are the requisites uh, if you're going to submit a new code when on the CPT. And then uh, in the figure there, we have examples of, uh, of category 3 codes, right? Yes. And, and as you can see, they all end in a T which is the characteristic of the category three codes. Right. For instance, the, let's point, uh, point at the 019, let's see, thank you. Are you okay? This one, for instance, 0192T is external approach, approach right? Right. That, that has an example of, uh, of a CPT code. Or a CPT category three code, All right? And they're just comparing, right? Both the description in in, in the CPT and description, or in in the thirteen and the fourteen, or how it evolved from from one year to the other, right? right. That that is the the difference. Okay, that's our theory for today. Now we're gonna do an exercise. Um. Just one more thing. Mm. I just put it 14. It's actually page 14. Page 14? Yes. Okay. All right. Page 14, part 4, right? Right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now we're ready to do the exercise. Uh, ready, set, go. Okay. The code is CPT JJRVA 266 129 level 1. And the title is? Insertion Post Generator. Insertion of a Post Generator. And the text reads like this. Surgery, nervous system. Patient with Parkinson's disease is admitted for insertion of a brain neurostimulator pulse generator with one electrode array. array. Right, so it's a surgery section of the CPT code and it's a nervous system. The patient with a Parkinson's disease is admitted for insertion of a brain neurostimulator pulse generator with one electrode array, okay? So that's the procedure. Now we're gonna count to three so you can pause the video and give us the CPT code for this. One, two, three. Okay, the CPT code is? It's, uh, it's 61885. Right, 61885. You got that? If you got it, congratulations. If you didn't get it, let's give you a tip. Okay, the tip is? Tip is, start with insertion pulse generator. Right. Uh, from the text, just the basic, uh, the first uh, two expressions or key expressions from the test is first insertion, 
and then pulse generator and from there you can follow right, right. and the answer is 61885 you know that already so we're going to count to three so you can pause the video and then give us the path to the answer one two three okay this is the whole summary of the problem it's a surgery section of the cpt code It's a nervous system the patient with parkinson's disease is admitted for insertion of a brain neurostimulator pulse generator with one electrode array okay there's only one code and the code one through the index is found like this first you go to index go to the index then you start with insertion insertion and then pulse generator pulse generator and then brain brain and you get what you get two codes right yes 61885 and 61886 so we're going to go to tabular and check those two codes so code one through tabular is found like this First, you go to tabular. Go to tabular. You start with the code 61885. Which is the first one you found in the index, right? And what is that? Insertion cranial neural stimulator pulse generator with connection to a single electrode array. Array, which is exactly our problem, right? So we could stop here, but since it's only one more, let's just look at the other one to see why it's not the other one. Okay, so the other one is 6186. And what is that, the words that, that disqualify this? Two or more electrode arrays. Right. This is for two or more electrode arrays. And in our problem, in our, the text of our problem says specifically one electrode array. So we, we disqualify the second one and we go back to the first one, which is 61885. That's why there's an equal sign at the end, which means this is the answer, right? So the answer is 61885. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website and also and also you can subscribe to us in YouTube by clicking here for our new medical coding videos. Right, just click on the red rectangle and they will get you will get up to three videos every day that we make. ICD tens, CPTs, all that is needed to pass the medical coding certification exams. Okay, so don't forget to visit our website and also subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.